the Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, respectfully and without contention, I would like to ask the Premier about the difficult subject of suicide prevention. It's a, a subject that we stand before in Nova Scotia today in the shadow of the recent tragedies in Eskasoni. And I would like to ask the Premier, uh, what in his judgment can we do in Nova Scotia to improve suicide prevention programming in our province? The Honourable Premier. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank uh, the Honourable Member for the question. As we continue to go uh, working with those experts on evidence-based solutions to how do we continue to ensure that those Nova Scotians who feel there is no way out, no path forward, uh, that we ensure that we surround them with the appropriate supports. Uh, it's uh, very early on. We know if we have early identification, early detection, uh, that we can address some of the issues. That that's what we do in the wraparound part that we're trying to do with schools. Uh, we continue to, to, to rely on the work and support of uh, Stan Kutcher when it comes to ensuring that we have evidence-based solutions in our communities. And I think it's important, Mr. Speaker, as we have uh, the, uh, our, our experts, our healthcare experts, out in communities that they actually continue to get in communities to understand the cultural sensitivity of some of our communities and the important part of how we provide them uh, with a path forward in a culturally uh, sensitive uh, environment uh, that helps uh, get the best outcomes. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Do I thank the Premier for his answer. Uh, the Suicide uh, uh, Prevention Centre speaks of there being four primary best practices in, in this area, means restriction and responsible media reporting and education, but there, there is a fourth that they speak of as uh, being more important than the others, and that's easy, uh, quick access to mental health care. For example, at our Bears Road Clinic, a person calling today uh, receives, uh, is given an appointment in the spring and now uh, into the summer. So I, I want to ask the Premier, how can we continue to accept waits of so many months for people in the province who are reaching out to the mental health services of our province? The Honourable Premier. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Member uh, knows each and every time we continue to make sure that we improve uh, the wait times for all of our health care services, particularly when the Honourable Member is referring uh, to a situation when uh, uh, someone is in crisis. How do we provide them that support to, to ensure that we begin them on the path back to healing? Uh, it is a multifaceted approach on how we try to deal with this stuff. It's, uh, our, the, the, the goal is, is working towards ensuring uh, early detection early on, but we know we now have uh, uh, Nova Scotians who require our support uh, and require the system to be more responsive than it is at this moment in time, uh, that we continue to improve and try to make sure that we bring that wait time down uh, so that we respond to that citizen when they need it. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Thank you. Just very recently, Dr. Simon Sherry, psychologist, called on the province to bring forward a coordinated strategy to deal with our rising suicide rate in the province. And as he spoke about this, he was adamant about how it would be important for such a strategy to have a firm uh, timelines and dedicated uh, funding in order to be able to achieve its purposes. And we do note that in Quebec, a program parallel to this sort has been brought forward and it has been achieving uh, measurable and dramatic improvements. And so I, I want to ask the Premier, when in our province uh, can we hope to see a, a funded and comprehensive suicide prevention program in place. The Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the Honourable Member for the question. And Dr. Sherry, who he was referring to, raised uh, concerns and issues. Uh, I wanted to, uh, through to, to the Honourable Member, through you, to tell him uh, that the work is underway uh, to do exactly just that. Uh, and, and the Minister of Health will report to Nova Scotia when that is completed. 